Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hupildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we will talk about voice leading and as always there's a PDF you find in the, down in the description below and um, there you find um, what we are talking about and it's cool to have that as a reference I think but also it supports this channel so it would be a cool thing to, to do. All right, um, what, is, what is voice leading? Um, just the term by itself, voice leading to, to lead a voice uh, in a kind of way. And voice leading has to do with a, um, with this, with a concept that um, you have um, to, to connect harmonic structures, so vertical structures, um, so notes stacked up vertically and um, how, how to connect um, more of them or even just two, two harmonic structures, how to, how to connect them. And then th this idea of voice leading um, is that, ac that you actually sync every um, note in one harmonic structure as one um, note of a, of a melody yeah, or voice, yeah, like like uh, how and, and you look at that, how this voice, how this note will behave um, to become a member of the next uh, voicing, or voicing. Yeah, it's also a good 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 word, voicing. Um, next harmonic structure. In um, in history, actually, we we we. It, it took us a long, long, long time to actually develop um, harmonic structures and to, to, to really sync um, harmonic structures, chords, um, triads, um, as as being like like a um, a certain um, to have a, a certain quali quality and also function to to be a kind of a whole thing, so that we have, for example, a a C major triad and we can just stack the notes any way we want and we can invert the chord any way we want and still it remains the same the same thing the same triad the same chord um, although we we, we, we we played actually quite quite um, differently and this kind of an idea that that um, like um, an harmonic um, arrangement or a vertical arrangement of notes has really its own identity um, took took a long time to, to um, evolve to develop before we always saw um, melody so it's always um, melody and the um, like in Renaissance and still that that also lingers on very much into uh, also baroque um, music it's like it's we have all these these we have like a lot of, of uh, these um, um, vertical structures, but we we sync very polyphonic, yeah? and that's also a very important word here. Polyphonic means like more, more, um, more voices. So there are more voices happening at the same time. Of course, polyphonic also refers to like that that these these single voices voices or single melodies which are happening at the same time also have a kind of um, identity, yeah, that you you recognize them as, as, as melodies. And um, in the history, actually, this, 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 this concept of like separate melodies, which, which really have their own identity, um, like in, in, in the Baroque, um, it, it shifted more and more to this homophonic texture idea. Homophonic means we just have chords and, and a melody, like, like, like we have a accompaniment and, and, and melody. And this, this um, when we go from, from Baroque to, to classical music in the European um, classical music history, then we, we see that, that we, we lose a lot of this um, polyphonic um, concepts. Still it's there, everything is there, but, but the idea is more, the focus is more on, on, on melody and also on the different um, colors, the, the, the vertical structures, the chords are creating. Yeah, so the, 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 um, the progression in, in, in that music history was really from, from, from a single voice to stacking up 
different melodies, like all these kind of different um, um, approaches also to have like really different melodies at the same time. Um, and and then we, we, we came to Renaissance and they're also like, the, it's, it was very, very polyphonic that really like you, you always have had this kind of an imitation that something what happens in one voice will go to another voice. And um, yeah, and then of course the, the, the polyphonic texture is very, very strong also with, with Johann Sebastian Bach, but, but it's getting um, there the, the, the shift in a way really to, to thinking chords um, really um, happens. Um, and now what, what, what we actually after, after all this kind of um, development to from, from, from melodies and, and thinking melodic, uh, more melodic and then having like a, a polyphonic texture and going to, to then to going to, to the chords we, 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 we have today and we think today like a chord, a chord progression uh, um, what are the chords of that song or, or how, how the chord progression going for that jazz standard so I can improvise on that. This now we, in a way we, um, we take and now we take a different look, look at that and, and we, we in a way we, we, we try to or, or we go back to, to have more the, the awareness of <clears throat> the, single, um, the single notes in that harmonic structure. So we, we, we in a way, we go back in time and, 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 and think about, um, remember um, that, that chords, there was a time when chords, harmonic structures were not perceived as, as they are today. It was really like a, um, this, this, this idea of <clears throat> a harmonic structure is just a, 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 a vertical, um, instant in, in time where different melodic um, melodies melodies melodic notes um, meet yeah and form that that um, that kind of um, yeah harmonic structure so the, the notes sound together but but the, 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 the fabric the texture is, is more thought like polyphonic and and we are thinking now we, we go back and and we um, in a way we go back and we think um, again of of having a chord and think think of that as um, three melodies yeah let's take this G minor chord here drop two voice in root position so we have actually yeah you can just you can just say oh it's a G minor chord it's in drop two voice in root position okay that's that's the harmonic um, structure how about the me melodic structure and since we just have one chord, we, we do not yet have melody, of course. Yeah? We could make a melody out of that by, by splitting that up. By the... yeah, that would be one thing to, to, to really um, give one voice the whole, the whole chord and, and sing it in, a, in an arpeggiated way. But what, what we are doing now is we take that chord and we bring it to, to another chord. Let's go to... Um, no, actually... Um, no, I, 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 I... Yes. Okay, so we go from that chord <laughs> to um, that chord. Okay, so when you listen to that, when you listen to that, what I'm, I'm playing here, what do you notice? Yeah, one thing is, is just, okay, we think of that as a, as a maybe a tonic minor, we are on G minor tonic chord and then going to a, a dominant, like a, um, in this case, like a D7 um, without the seven. Um, flat nine chord, uh, this, this diminished, this diminished texture, diminished uh, chord type, and resolving very, very nicely. 
back to G minor to the tonic. All right, and that is already um, here. We really can can already with two chords we we think about voice leading. So voice leading also also the you can you can in a way see it like. Um, you are um, you are an arranger and you want to write a chord progression for a choir, yeah? and in a choir you usually have like um, four um, four voices in the sen sense of like groups of voices. Yeah, you have soprano, alto, tenor, and, and bass, and you want to you want to give every every um, voice in that um, choir a, a certain note of the chord. So when they sing together, you have the full the full chord. And now the, the idea of voice leading, and this is like really like a very good and clear image on how to how to um, how to really understand about voice leading is now the concept of what you will tell every voice, like the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, what you you will tell them, um, what should they do with their note where they are um, to come to the next chord. Yeah, in this case, um, so you lead them in a, a sense. You lead them through the progression of the of the chords of the voicings. So when you have that um, when you have that chord here, now think of that chord as I said as three 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 people singing together. And do that, yeah. Take that chord and play this G and that's a really great um, um, exercise also, a really great awareness exercise for your ear to really get into that um, into that voicing, just sing one note out of, the, out of that voicing while playing the whole thing. Yeah? G And stop singing that note and just listen for that note which you sang. Yeah? Just listen for the G. Really have your awareness there. And then you go to the next chord and listen what happens. Yeah? First listen to that. Sing together. When you sing that and you you get more aware of these voices and um, single notes, single single melodies, or three melodies in this case, you get really deep into the whole thing. And that's that's actually really interesting. What what uh, how this chord also will will start to to become very much alive and very strong. This progression. Okay, so let's take another one. D <coughs> D while playing you can try to make this voice more loud more prominent now the top note Listen to 
lugar <clears throat> okay that's a very good exercise um, to get more aware of these single um, single melodies in the harmonic structure so to either um, or to, to do all um, after after um, each other to um, to listen to one note how it how it proceeds to the next note of the next chord to um, to sing it yeah to really sing it while you play the whole structure and also you can um, with, with, when you play, you can try to, to make this uh, one voice where you're focusing on to stick out more. Yeah, that also has to do with, with, with technique um, of the right hand, of course. Yeah, it's, um, and the idea is really to get really conscious about what is, what is going on there and, and really to, to, to practice this uh, kind of um, this awareness of, um, of these, these, these uh, voice leading voice leading what what happens between two, um, two structures you can also say voice leading is really the, the the glue what 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 binds um harmonies together yeah it's it's really um if you just have separate chords they can be like in a way like really separate and especially when you don't think about voice leading if you play one chord there one chord there and you have you deal with all these structures in nice colors and by accident of course a lot of voice leading is happening but um you can say without voice leading, the, the chords are not um, not really um, strong strong together, and that's of course um, very strong when I when I when I have that voice leading what I just <clears throat> picked here. Yeah, and so so we, we listen for these notes and we also try to bring it out. course we have we always have rules many many rules when you when you study classical music composing you deal uh, yeah you deal a lot with with um, setting harmonic structures into like four four um, four voices um, and then um, applying a lot of rules how to how to progress from one harmony to the next harmony and we don't we don't we do not um, concern all these kind of different rules we 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 more more or less find like basic um, basic things here these are just a few few rules and i explain um i explain them to you here now they're also on the pdf so just what I'm talking is, is, is yeah, it's on the PDF. But so of course, on the PDF there might be like different aspects also. Since I'm, I'm more when I do these lessons here, I'm more. Um, I do that more in, a, in an associative way that I have maybe some some other ideas, and I, I just uh, I just tell you that and um, just this, this in a way so, so maybe to add other other aspects or to get other ideas so that when you then have the pdf and what i'm talking um then you have kind of the the, the complete uh, package what i um can what i offer you what i share with you here okay um so voice leading rules um when you think about this this choir idea yeah when you think about there are like like different voices and they all they all have their note and then they wait wait for your instructions yeah what, what should we do and of course like um the easiest thing and um, what 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 you can imagine is you just 
don't move at all. You just keep your note. Yeah. For example, if I go from from D, uh, from from G minor to D major, there's one note which is not moving. You can say, yeah, or move by a, by a unison, perfect unison. Not here. is always open is always there that's the first voice leading rule the same note if you have two harmonies which which are sharing the same note this note just stays in that voice yeah? you just let it ring or um, repeat it in the next chord the same octave um, General, generally, this this rule um, is one one um, one consideration um, under the roof of 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 uh, a kind of larger rule or superior rule, um, which is the the rule of the shortest distance. So you you try you try to 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 go from one harmony to the next with the shortest in the shortest distance possible so every note should, should should just go in the smallest um, distance possible yeah so for example when i go um <clears throat> oh no let's let, let's go on with this example so i i look for 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 um for, for unison so which notes are repeating okay next step would be are there just half steps and yeah, that's my next smallest interval and i'm, I'm just uh, go go through that um in a, in a kind of a um, gradual um progression so now now i'm looking for half steps and i'm looking for other half steps going from g minor to d major and then i i know without playing that yeah there are two half half steps actually which i can take i can go from b flat to a that's just a half step from the minor third of the g minor to the perfect fifth of d major or I can go from the G, from the um, root of G minor, to the major third, the F sharp of D major. Yeah? G, F sharp, B flat, A. And, um, and the other note, of course, the D, the, it just stays. So this, this voice leading is actually a really good voice leading concerning, concerning the distance. And what you always can do um, when you have um, voice leading um, with the same um, um, number of, of notes in, in one structure. So this, these are three note structures we are dealing with. We're going from one three note structure to the next. And when I say three note structure, I mean just the, there are three notes, three different notes. Um, of course, these are, just, these are just triads, which is a special kind of a three-note structure here. So these traditional triads is just one group of three-note structure, um, three-note structures. So that's why I'm, I'm, I, I like more to say these are three-note structures because later on I can I can also change a note, which makes this whole thing um, not a traditional triad like minor, major, augmented, diminished, but still the voice leading rules just apply the same way. So I have a three note structure going to any other three note structures. I can measure the distance from one to the next in um, half tone steps or half steps, half steps. So how many half steps do I have to go from one structure to the next? In this case, it's two, yeah? I have to move. <clears throat> I have to move one here, G, F sharp, D stays the same, so there's no movement, and then from B flat to A, half steps. So two half steps are, are moving in total. That's an important consideration when, I, when I'm, um, and that's the nearest possibility for sure, um, or the smallest number. But that's a, a very, um, I mean, that's an important consideration if I have maybe two um, possibilities. For example, I have um, I have this um, 
Yeah, let's <clears throat> let's take for example if I have an F sharp um, F sharp diminished um, chord. I I wanna wanna um, go to now. So I can I, I I have two kinds of ways here. I can I can say okay, um, are there from to F sharp diminished F sharp A C um, are there any notes which are which both um, harmonies share? No. Yeah, there's no, all notes are different. So then I look for half steps. I look for, okay, F sharp, F sharp, um, I mean G minor to F sharp, I have um, two half steps. I can, I can go from G to F sharp, from B flat to A. And then I, I just think about, okay, what, what can I do with my D here yeah, of, of G minor? Oh, it's a whole step. To go to C, yeah. So that would be my my next um, consideration. If I um, check the whole thing for for um, first for for um, same notes, yeah, common tones also called, and we talked about that also in voice leading with three note um, structures, three note um, traditional triads, yeah. So we had C T means uh, common tone, and um, um, yeah, so first we look for common tones, then we look for minor seconds, then for major seconds, and so on. Yeah? Um, then we go up um, to the next um, higher, um, larger interval. So when we check everything for half steps and whole step uh, and, and, and um, unisons, we, we just um, we think about whole steps. And then we see, ah, okay, I can go from D to C to the, the fifth here. So my voice leading would be. And a very near, um, near way, um, near um, another near uh, possibility of F sharp um, diminished would be this one. Yeah, it's also not, not, not so far away. But then I can make, I can, I can think about that um, <clears throat> in terms of. Um, the actual number of the distance. So how many half steps I have to go from G minor to F sharp diminished here? And how many half steps do I have to go from G minor to F sharp diminished here? Okay, well, so we have like um, from G minor to, to F sharp diminished here. It's four half steps yeah, and you can figure out that by yourself. Just count all voices separately. How, how much one half steps, step, two half steps from D to C and G to F sharp, one half step. Yeah, so four half steps, I have to move. And when I go up, these are like two half steps, two half steps, already four half steps. And then from D to F sharp, are not another four half steps. One, two, three, four. So eight half steps. And in this case, I go from G minor to this F sharp diminished, eight half step, steps. So I can say, hmm, no, that's that's too far. That's that's there in a way. This voice leading, the, the other voice leading is more strong because I, I just move smaller distances. So the glue, the glue is 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 stronger, so to speak. Yeah. So that's that's um, sometimes it's, it's a real um, real interesting because sometimes um, they are actually like chords. Um, voice leadings, not of traditional trials maybe, but others where it's it's the same or just a little little different whether you go up or down the whole thing. So um, it's it's just a tool to 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 to, um, to analyze a certain voice leading progression <clears throat> and to co compare that. So and the. You can say like the, the, the rule or the, the idea would in general be the shorter, the, the smaller number, so the shorter voice leading, the shorter distance of all the voices um, is considered to be better. <clears throat> now the next, the next um, rule, actually like these are like two rules which, which um, which kind of belong together, um, and that's it. Then actually, also um, already, 
um, is it's important to understand that 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 rule. The idea of um, um, there are different emotions, and we will talk in the next. I think in the next lesson we will talk about counterpoint, the different um, movements like contrary motion, similar, parallel, um, and so on, and. Um, The best movement when you, to have, you can say, is contrary motion. And contrary motion is you have, you have two voices which move from one chord to the next, actually in, in opposite, opposite direction. So this was, a, this was happening, for example, with when I go from, from this G minor to this, a, no, uh, what is this? Uh, e flat diminished, kind of. Yeah, it's more like an F, F uh, diminished seven without the fifth. But but anyway, um, it also doesn't does not really matter actually. Huh? If if you just have have you can just um, deal with any kind of a structure, and you you actually do not need to know what what that structure is how what what is the name yeah, you just go in a certain kind of a way you try to get to that of course you have to know the notes yeah, to find the next um, possibility as a voicing for voicing or for for moving these individual melodies of course you have to know the notes and so g minor to to that chord you have contrary motion happening and that means the D is going up to E flat. Whereas the other two notes are moving down. So between um, two pairs of, of notes in this, these harmonic structures, you have contrary motion. So you have, you have um, on one hand, you have that. Same here. The interesting thing here um, is also that that you have um, three voices and they all move by by half step and um, so there's no common tone and that's that's an in interesting thing. It's very very near. It's very glued together the, the whole thing. Okay and. Um, why is, is this contrary motion considered to be the best? I mean, that's that's um, of course. It's um, it's not a law. It's it's a rule. Yeah, it's kind of, it's something you 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 just consider, in a way, not in a strict way. But the idea of contrary motion is the idea that you give these two voices which are in contrary motion it's maximum individual individual individuality yeah so they are they are they have two you can say opposite characters yeah the, the, the one is going up the other is going down so it's like also in the, in the texture when you just hear that you just hear the the the, the progression of these two harmonic structures there um is really you, you you more more notice that something is really moving, like there are like melodic um, things happening um, during that that change, which you not so much will notice when you have um, when the the notes move in a kind of a similar way or in a parallel way, and that is also the reason why there is actually this, 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 this law, that's not a rule, that's a law, that you should avoid um, perfect octaves and perfect fifths. Yeah? So going from one, one chord um, What can we do here? Um, so, for example, from, from E flat, yeah, from that, I mean, when I'm doing that, for example, just E flat major two. Yeah, actually dealing with the same.
same notes but in a different arrangement. So I've I've yeah, and that's a real different um, yeah. It's a real different impression than. Yeah, this, what happens here, it really sticks out in a way when you hear these both chords. Instead of. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's, it's, um, maybe it's, it's not super obvious for you, but it is, you, you notice that, you notice that there's some some something more interesting happen um, happening and the this other thing here is more like <clears throat> yeah more like like I mean of course it's it's just one chord um, moving in, in half steps but it's more like thinking um, yeah it's this, this parallel movement which is not really giving you like in a way give, giving you really like melodic um, um, independence, of course, of course not. Yeah? They're, they're more working together. They are just one sound, this perfect fifth, this sticks as a perfect fifth, these two notes, and just go together somewhere. In a way, one is, is hidden behind the other. So it's, you, 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 it, it, it's, it, it looks as they're just, um, it's just one, you know? And whereas when you have contrary motion, you see them both, you know? That's, that's maybe good, that's, that's a good image for that, I think. Um, <clears throat> okay, so th these are our voice leading rules. And when you when you when you concern like 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 when you really study, as I said, like classical composition, and you you, you think about this four part. Um, um, in German, it's vierstimmiger Satz. I I I'm always I always have the problem to find the English word um, for that. It's just writing writing out the harmonic structures in with four voices progressing. Yeah, that's a description of that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and, and when you study that that kind of music, you have a lot more like like rules what you what you what you have to do, and of course you have also to to consider the functions of of the the note the note functions in the chord that the leading tone um, should move up and the the, the sevens uh, in the dominant sevens should move down and. And certain, certain um, that perfect fours are um, like parallel movement of perfect fours are are considered okay, uh, yeah. Whereas perfect fifths are forbidden, and I mean all kinds of things. So you really when you, when you when you compose it, when you when you work on the, that kind of a, a four voice uh, harmony. Um, progression and you have to work out a certain chord progression you really deal with all these rules and it's so so uh, dangerous you know this this whole kind of composition because you yeah you, there are these rules and and uh, so you can make a lot of a lot of mistakes actually um, for our purposes um, for our purpose here it's it's not not important it's not important it's just it's just important that you um, understand about the, this glue aspect of voice leading that the, the nearest um, the nearest uh, movement is is considered better than the farthest far farthest farthest <laughs> farthest farthest yeah and um and that you you sh you should consider um, also that 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 is it's a real quality to have an independent um voices moving so this idea of polyphonic more polyphonic texture when you consider voice leading the the um that you have not i mean that that there are more voices going on and that you also are able to to hear that um so that's about this contrary motion thing and the other the other rules i would just bring them together in this <clears throat> in this idea of um just makes this voice leading sound good. And 
and the, the the main focus is that you really put your awareness on on the single notes of, of one harmonic structure and really really listens where that note wants to proceed and when you have like two harmonic structures and you really listen get aware of of what happens with that one one voice so where is it going and how does it sound is it is it good yeah and um to really concentrate on that really concentrate on that and this this exercise um and yeah what sorry what i what i mean here is that all these rules like like how you have to i mean all these rules you find in, in classical music when you do like a strict um when you compose that four voice thing like very strict um i mean it's all about music to create the best possible music and we just put all these rules together and say just trust trust your ear but of course for 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 that for that kind of approach it's also very important to really penetrate with your ear into that sound and really listen for for every 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 note really consider your ear has to consider every note as important um, and being a melodic melodic note at the same time as being a harmonic um, function in the yeah, function in the harmony. And um, this awareness exercise um, you can also just do by playing one chord. And it's also good for, for composing, of course. By playing one chord, let's take another chord. Let's take, I don't know, like, um, what, what do we take? Let's take um, this one. Yeah, something else. That's a bit weird. And now listen, we listen to, to every note separately, okay? So we have the A flat and we sing it. A flat. And then we sing the D. listen to every note separately I mean we put our 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 focus on one note <clears throat> and try to really um, grab that note and, and 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 highlight that note with our um, awareness yeah to be really on that pitch to really hear that as a main thing and the other notes more going to the um, background so the C the top note Now, if we if we do not have like a, a, um, a certain harmonic progression already, we can just um, now um, think about we, maybe we, 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 we like that that chord, we like the sound, um, and we just wanna 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 find um, another one, another sound which which um, which will come after that harmonic structure so so the idea is um to really get into that and really ask every voice separately what does it want to do where does it want to progress <clears throat> so let's go to the um to the lowest voice maybe or middle let's go to the to the d to the middle voice and ask ourselves I hear, I hear in my inside like two possibilities. Yeah, maybe because I'm also like really settled in G minor now. <clears throat> I 
I hear either it goes up to E flat or to down to C. So that's what I feel this note wants to do. So D flat next chord or D C Yeah. Let's let's I, I, I think about going to C actually. So D C Now what I hear now in my head to go actually from 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 this A down to F. That's what what I, I really hear. So A flat um, flat F. Yeah, at the same time. And um, <clears throat> one 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 possibility would be to um, what I hear in my head also um, my inner ear is just to stay with a with a C there. Yeah? We do not think about anything here. Eh? We 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 do not think about um, whether this is a what that actually is. What we, we what we will what, what this approach will lead us to. Um, we will just follow our ears. Okay, so. I do. I go with my A flat to F, with my D to C, and my my C, my top C, top C, uh, top C stays. Now I hear. I mean, now I could just go on, and that's actually more like a melodic move here. I would would think of 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 C G. That's what, what what my ear tells me in a way. Once, once this, once I start that kind of thing, once you start, hopefully you start this kind of an approach. Um, always let your ear tell tell you. Just listen for everything. What what you do to every voice in the in the harmonic structure, and then to to ask where do you want to go? Where? What is your destination? Do you want to go up? Do you want to go down? Do you want to stay? What 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 kind of thing is happening there? And once you find one step, one, one, one thing, what that voice is doing, very often also you, you, you find like um, the other... Um, or just in general, I mean, once you focus on, on that, there, there, you, you will get answers, yeah? Like your ear will tell you, and I'm, I'm, I could now like uh, talk a lot about where, where, that, where that is coming from, why you get that... Um, why you get where you get these ideas from um but in generally just just think about um one um one one concept here and the concept is <clears throat> that the music is already there you just have to find out what what it is yeah so you it's like um it's like having having a stone, you know, and you you make you make a, a like a, a head out of that, and by 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 putting away like your sculpture and you're putting away like pieces of 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 the stone, and in a way you can you can one idea is just to really have a very clear idea about the whole thing, what it should look like at the end, and then go for that, and the other approach is to just go. In a way, like step by step, you see that, and you just think, oh, you, you put that away, and you don't not you do not think about about any like like thing you you want to make, like any uh, like uh, object or what whatever, and then then maybe it, it it leads to something what is very strong and very um, yeah uh, unique, <laughs> but. 
I mean, to just ask in in a way, just 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 ask these questions. What what you want to do, and and every every voice will tell you something if you'll just listen. Yeah, oh, I want to go down. <laughs> yeah, I want to go up. I want to stay. I I. Mm. Uh, yeah, so just get your awareness there, and then things will happen. Yeah, I would. As a, uh, yeah, I, you you come to you come to different uh, different approaches, and the more your ear is there, the, the stronger the stronger uh, this uh, your out this outcome will be. What what you actually um, come up with. And actually, I like that. Yeah, it's just happened now. get this idea I mean it's and this this is really um, um, another aspect of the whole thing just you just you have a, a certain um, harmonic structure and then you 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 use your ear and you are really conscious about that that every note in a harmonic structure is a starting point can be a starting point of a, a melodic invention so you really go there and 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 be really aware of that, either in composing or finding the the nice, uh, good voice leading um, um, motions, um, melodic motions to, to, to go to the next um, um, harmonic structure. Okay, let's um, let's talk about like briefly about two other different things which which really have to do with with voice leading. One, one, uh, one thing is voice crossing. So it can happen that actually one voice is crossing another voice um, to reach the next note. So for example, you have, um, there are like, like, um, there are three different, um, different examples also on the page. One is to go from that chord I'm considering as a, as a dominant seven, E dominant seventh chord without the fifths in this case. So D, G sharp, E. And then I progress in, in a very logical way with these two voices to A minor. I go, I, my E stays, becomes the perfect fifth of A minor, and my D, yeah, this typical um, connection of dominant sevens going down to the minor third. Yeah? But now, instead of moving this leading tone, and here it becomes very obvious because you, you in, uh, normally you, you, you should, um, this is a strict kind of a rule, this makes also perfect sense, of course, um, but we take it more loose. But um, anyway, um, this G sharp wants to go to A and resolve, right? You saw you... That's, that's the, the smallest possible voice leading going from that chord to that, to A minor, and resolve. But now what I'm doing is I'm taking that note and I will not resolve it to A here, but I will go straight down to that note. And that's like melodically, that is something what, what is really often, often frequently happening with, uh, with the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Yeah, it's really like, like you have something like... Um, yeah. you, just, you, you just take a kind of a good strict clear clean direct voice leading 
and put the whole put the, the that next node uh, in another octave. So what you what you do is then for for that for that and uh, that example it would be. So we sing like La stays and D goes down to C and G sharp goes up to A but in a different octave. Yeah? And that's voice crossing. We have that voice and with that, with the G sharp voice, this just crosses the, the D C voice and goes yeah jumps over it and just goes into a different um register and this this sometimes happens yeah sometimes you you need that it's also with johann sebastian bach when you have these these uh these um uh choral these bach uh, chorals yeah these um like church songs um in four part um there you also see that that's happening yeah so Usually, like like close voices, they just sometimes maybe the 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 the, the, um, the tenor goes above the alto or something like that. I'm I'm actually not not really sure what what exactly happens there, but I I know when when I played these some of these when I try to put some some of these uh, choral. Uh, works on the guitar there I, I saw that sometimes this happens actually okay so another example would be instead of going that way we can go yeah so it would be it's still very strong yeah i think you you hear that it's still very strong and this this quality of not completely lost Oops, sorry. Or. another another example here on the page um, is that also very clear voice leading of D D going to C yeah and then we, we end with a two-part structure, just a diet, but we can also think of that as that the A is, is doubled. Yeah, it's a unison. So we have, uh, we have actually, we have E going up, up to A. And we have D going down to C, uh, to C. We have G sharp going up, but an octave lower to A. Yeah, so we have three voices, and um, two of them meet together here in, with, with the A. But anyway, yeah, you you see that um, this kind of a, um, or you hear that the, the quality is still like. it's still still there yeah it's just just displaced by by an octave of course you get a different sound and and it's not so so directly noticeable in in a, in a chord um that there's some some voice crossing happening that's not i mean that's really th that these voice leadings are mostly like completely hidden yeah in a way but they to to sync voice crossing helps a lot when when dealing with voice leading and um, um, finding like progressions there which which really work because when I'm um, when I'm syncing for example I have that chord and I want to go to A minor and I already found that that I I want to have have that when I go proceed to A minor and then I'm, I'm I, I, I have to I, anyway I have to I have to go with my G sharp I have to go up to A but maybe I don't want I don't want that maybe I want to have the A as, as my bass note as my to really have this kind of a 
have this kind of a, a more resting sound to have the root in the bass. Then I think, okay, actually I, I just think G sharp going to A with voice crossing. Yeah, that that actually, or I I found that I find that chord and think, okay, the G sharp can also go to that A or that A, and um, that way I make sure that this these two chords, these two voicings, are still very very much. Um, glued together yeah but in a more hidden way maybe more hidden um it's more more hidden of course <clears throat> okay so the principle of voice crossing um another thing what i just want to want to um, talk briefly i mean we have a real long lesson today here um i'm surprised actually a bit uh, <laughs> I have so much to say about that um that's the idea of like a superior two-part harmony. And um, you, you have to check this, um, um, I think it's Craft of Composing by Paul Hindemith. He, um, that's actually a, a concept I, I got from him. Um, the idea is that the, the, the lowest voice and the top voice, they f also form like a kind of a superior two-part harmony, which is like a, a kind of framework of, of, of the whole harmonic progression um, there and it, it's, it's like um, you can think you, you have these outer voices and you have kind of filler voices which are less important in, in having like a, a strong kind of a um, strong kind of a structures because when you have, for example when you have a perfect fifth in the outer voices then that is very strong and resting and this is also um, giving you a lot of freedom with just putting like for example the flat 9 here or the maybe the sharp 11 or bows yeah, very dissonant chord okay but at the same time it's resting in a way so that interval is very important if I have a perfect um, a, a diminished shift, yeah, and I, I put anything in, in between, it's very different then. So the, the quality of the outside voices of that interval created there um, has a strong influence of the stability of the whole um, progression or the whole um, harmonic, um, yeah, of the progression. Um, for example, when you have that chord, that is, you have a diminished fifth there the outside voices that's an A diminished triad but when you invert that in a way that your outside voices are just just this minor third or minor tenth and you put the, the diminished fifth in the middle as a kind of a filler voice so to speak this is much more resting than Same notes, yeah. So that's something you. Um, I think you hear that very clearly. Um, that's something you you can all also consider when dealing with voice leading. That you 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 when you're thinking, okay, I want to go from that chord to that chord. That you also take care um, to or be aware of of the outside voices because you always have a kind of a choice, or mostly you have a kind of a choice what to do and and. So that, that outside, maybe these, these outside voices like the bass and the top note um, could, can be the first, first notes also to consider when you consider this more musical um, approach also. Um, and of course, at the end, at the end, it's always kind of a compromise with all these different ideas. But 
I hope I hope that you get a um, get a clear clearer idea what what in which directions to think what to what to look for be be more aware of these individual voices and so on. Um, yeah, and then I'm I'm happy. So that's that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and um, please. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. There's also the bell button, um, which you should click to get notifications when a new video will be released, which is the case every week here on this channel. And also down in the description below, you find a link to my website, hupildenbrand.com, the, the Guitar Academia page there. There you have a button where you can uh, donate. So this would be really cool. I would really appreciate that if, if I see, okay, you're really valuing the stuff I'm sharing here with you and um, you want to support my work here, I would be really happy. Okay, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. My name is